There are a lot of differences between driving the Venetian and your daily driver. There are more than a dozen switches and buttons in the dash area. So let's take a look at where they're located and what they all do. A beautiful cockpit awaits in the Venetian, drawing your attention to the large display screen. This acts as your rear view and side view mirror monitors, along with onboard entertainment features such as radio and Bluetooth. To the right sits a bank of switches, knobs, and inputs. Starting with the rocker switches at the top from left to right, generator start, sunshade, and nightshade. Couple of ports below, a 12 volt outlet, along with a USB port and an HDMI connection, this allows you to mirror your smartphone on the display screen. Climate control is at the bottom of the panel from left to right, fan speed, temp control, and vent selection. The snowflake turns the air conditioning on and the arrows recirculate the cabin air. Starting your Venetian is as easy as pressing this keyless start button on the dash. Moving to the steering wheel, on the right are controls for the wipers and the switch for your marker lights. On the left are controls for cruise control and the switch for your courtesy flasher so you can give a quick thank you when you are passing or when you are being passed by a semi. The lone stalk on the steering wheel is for the directionals. The Venetian features easy to read gauges with the tachometer, fuel gauge and diesel exhaust fluid on the left, speedometer in the center, on the right, oil pressure and coolant temp with air tank pressure at the bottom. Looking at the control panel on the dash to the left of the gauges, here you will find controls for the overhead cabin lights, service lights, your air horn, dash fans, and the switch to activate the engine brake. The row below features controls for your exterior docking lights, auxiliary start, and the control level for your dash readout. This display offers up a lot of information, so let's walk through the menus. You get a few pre-trip reminders, like if the leveling jacks are up or down. There's a pre-travel checklist to make sure everything is ready to go. You can check off each item as you prep for travel. Is the tow vehicle ready? Check that tire pressure. Give the engine a once over. Make sure the antennas are down and you disconnect shore power, water and sewer hookups. Close your bay doors and roof vents and shower door. Lock the awning arms. Clear the countertops and lock all the doors. Double check all drawers. The appliances should be secure as well. Make sure the slides are in and all windows are closed. If you use a CB, you get a reminder to turn it on. It features your odometer, fuel information such as fuel economy and average speed, idle time, distance, a trip meter, and your trip time. You also get information about your speed, your RPMs, oil pressure, transmission temp, and how many hours are on the generator. The next few items will be located about knee level, starting with the parking brake. Here are the headlight and parking lamp controls, bright lights and fog lights. And if you'd like to use your key instead of the electronic start, here's the ignition switch. Moving up and arm level, below the cup holder are the controls for the side view mirrors and heating options. Directly below is the gear selection panel, followed by the control panel for your leveling jacks. For more owner's resources, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.